from San Antonio this year, a very practice changing study that came out at this meeting is the responder trial. So this trial was taking patients who had hormone receptor positive disease with one to three positive lymph nodes and randomized them to get chemotherapy followed by endocrine therapy or endocrine therapy alone. And this was for patients who had um, an Oncotype DX test done with a recurrence score that was less than or equal to 25. And so this has been a long standing question for us is can we use genomic assays even in patients with nodal involvement to help select which patients need chemotherapy versus not. Um, and the study showed that in postmenopausal women, there was no benefit to chemotherapy if your recurrence score was under 25. So this is very practice changing because it tells us now that we should be sending genomic assays in our postmenopausal patients with up to three positive nodes. And again, if their score comes back under 25 with one to three positive nodes, there's no indication for chemotherapy. I think the sort of challenging data that emerges from this study though is in the premenopausal patients, there did seem to be benefit from chemotherapy. Um, so there's an absolute benefit uh, of 5% in terms of invasive disease-free survival. And there was also a survival benefit of about 1%. Um, and so I think this draws a lot of questions because you know the majority of people in this trial did not get ovarian suppression. And we do wonder, is the chemotherapy in these young patients causing suppression of ovarian function that is leading to this additional benefit, or is it really the chemotherapy that's you know, killing cancer cells and having benefit? And it's hard to figure that out. You know, When you look at, we try to tease it out by looking at age, um, which could help us understand the probability that the chemotherapy could have caused this change in ovarian function. And there is some suggestion that that could be the case, but we don't know if that's driving all of this benefit. And so I think it's gonna leave us with a lot of challenges in clinic about what to do for our premenopausal patients who have recurrent scores under 25 with up to three positive nodes. Um, I think some of us may consider looking at the absolute recurrent score to help guide us because we know that those patients who had lower recurrent scores had smaller absolute benefit from chemo. Whereas if your score was like between 13 and 25, your benefit was you know 6%. So I think that could help tease out which patients we may want to sway towards chemotherapy.